Kevin, you were 24 and you've already played in two World Cups. This place is going to have 62,000 in, but you've, you've experienced that. What is it like as a player? Yeah, definitely. You know, when you're home, you want to, to have a home advantage. You know, the, the 12th man and the, the fans on Sunday will be the 12th man for us, you know, with a fantastic fan base for us, Orlando City. You know, just looking forward to the game and hopefully we give them a treat by winning the game. Can you make me feel like a slacker? <laughs> you're only 24 and you've already played in two World Cups, is that right? Yeah, correct. Yes, I did. When? How old were you when you played in your first one? I, I was 17 years. What in was Egypt. that like? Yeah, amazing, you know, first time in, in that amazing crowd, 65,000 in, in, in South Korea, you know, it was fantastic. It seems like so many guys here are such young, good personalities, but you had a mix of older guys as well. How would you describe the locker room on the verge of this big kickoff Sunday? Yeah, the locker room is excited. We have a mix there, quite young players and also experienced players. Ricky Kaka, you know, amazing person, you know, and we all get along good and we're just looking forward to the game and, and give it our best shot for our fans and the people who have been working hard behind the front desk. You what guys keep it loose with practical jokes and stuff? Yeah, we all joke around. You know, yeah, you can't Who's the biggest cool. jokester? I think me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, what's it been like leading up to the first game for this franchise? Exciting. What's the locker room like? Yeah, definitely. You know, everybody want to get out there and, and score or save a goal for the team, you know. And we're just looking forward to the game and we're very excited and looking forward to the game on, on Sunday. And um, Saturday will be a tough day because the day before the game. And yeah. we're just looking forward to the game, little jitters. But hopefully we come out <laughs> victorious and give the amazing fans come out here on Sunday something to cheer about. I Good question. If you score the first goal in history, what's your celebration? You got something thought up already? Oh, I don't know. I will run the Come whole on. field. Come on, yeah. <laughs> you can run the whole field. Yeah, I may run Give the whole the field. Dance that yeah, I have, I have some dance. I have some dance. I have some dance. I will do. You, you will see. Let me hope. Uh, we just want to hope for the best. And, and, and with our Mason fan base, the, the club I've done to bring out uh, 60 some thousand is fantastic, you know. And we will we'll do our best to, 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 to give them a win for, for, for the city. Has soccer always been your sport, or did you play something else when you were younger? Yeah, I play. I grew up in a family with very, very sportive oriented, you know, and, you know, we play sports, we play cricket. On the island, it's different. Cricket is very uh, big sport, you know, and I, I grew up with my brother. I played football on the streets all the time, you know, and my, my number one sport was cricket, and when I get older, I decide to pick up football, and here I go. And you're pretty good at it, <laughs> we have to say. All right, Kevin, make a deal. If you score the first goal, you got to come back on and do the dance for us. All right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, good. All right. Kevin, good luck. Thank you very much. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Yeah.